Oh, this. Oh, no. I saw this video. I did too. What is going on at Target right now? Yeah. What? No, that's horrible. So the PA? Oh no! The kid is crying. <laughs> I'd be crying too, baby. Poor kid really doesn't like porn. Is this real? Why has no one busted into the office room? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh! Somebody got fired on that day. Oh my god! Seriously? Is that real? Oh my god. Kind of awesome. Can we play that again? Just for scientific reasons. Am I getting red? Am I like blushing? That's real. Oh, Tarjay. Okay, so what happened in this video? Someone was getting it on. Mom shopping at Target with the kids and over the loudspeakers. Sexy time started. Get nice and steamy in the break room. Maybe somebody's butt hit the button. I'm assuming someone went up to the loudspeaker, which I'm surprised you can even do that, and was just like, I'm gonna play some porn up on there. So when you realized that this was happening, how did it make you feel? Oh my god, so uncomfortable. Excited. Uh, curious. It makes me laugh. Yeah, I'm it sorry. made me happy. I felt slightly impressed because like, how did they pull that off? Because I'm seeing it through a mom's phone with kids in front of it, it makes you like really uncomfortable. Embarrassed for those kids and everybody in there because you see the target employees like... If I was with my child or like my nephew at the store, I would be like sprinting to like, management, help! My child's innocence. What did you think about the kids in the video and how they reacted? <laughs> they were like, oh, mommy, sex, ew. <laughs> they were probably really frightened by the noises, you know? I love that they just started crying because that's probably what I would do as well. I wasn't sure if those kids were, were upset just because they heard sex noises or if they were upset just because they were at Target. I assume it's because the little kid had something taken out of his hand, but... Maybe he's like heard his parents before and it just brings up bad memories. I don't think we give kids the amount of uh, credit sometimes that they can sense the, the feelings around them of, you know, what mom is feeling, what other people are thinking, what is actually going on. Like kids are very, very sensitive to that. The person was very happy, but I'm sure mom was like freaking out a little bit and maybe that's what the baby was sensing. So the story here is that this was some pornography audio that ended up playing over the speakers. Oh, okay. Interesting. The plot thickens. Oh, I thought someone was actually having sex. No, yeah, women don't sound like that. So this video went viral very, very quickly. Why would a video about porn in a Target get shared that fast? Because that stuff doesn't play at Target. Target is a family-friendly place. It's like hard to believe that that was done. How did nobody stop it? If you saw that in a TV show, you'd be like, oh, whatever, and that never happens in real life. And then to actually like hear it go down in a Target with children present and like a mom just filming it, it's just... That's hilarious. It's a trigger that just would send a lot of people up in arms. Like, they're like, oh, no, there's porn. Yeah. There's porn. We just got to protect the children. People love to say, whoa, look what Target did wrong. Like, everybody loves to, like, point a finger. Like, everyone loves to, like, blow up everybody else's mistakes. So if you were shopping at Target and this happened, what would you do? I would take my phone out and I'd start recording it. I would pull my phone to record it. I take out my phone and start recording <laughs> yeah. it. Probably whip out my my Snapchat. Oh, I would totally film it. But I would film horizontal, not vertical, I'm just saying. Instantly pull out my phone. Snapchat, Instagram, I mean YouTube, all the above. Of course, cool, <laughs> Snapchat. Where is this? Of course. <laughs> yeah. We gotta find the source. Immediately been running through the aisles trying to figure out where the noise was coming from. For what purpose? To see if there was someone f***ing at Target. <laughs> Flip side, if you were the manager of that target and then heard that start happening, what would you do? I'd probably be flipping my sh I would really want to know where the kill switch is for the PA system <laughs> yeah. really fast. I would run to the office, like unplug the microphone, and then fire a lot of people. I would have pushed the girl off me, zipped up my pants, and turned the PA system off. <laughs>
a very normal thing now for humans to do whenever something like this happens is to immediately film it. <laughs> yeah. Of course. That's everyone today except one. That was exactly what they said they would do. <laughs> Why has that now become the thing that everyone thinks to do? Um, because you want to share it with other people. Because we got used to this idea of oversharing. When really entertaining or really rare things happen, you want to document it. Everybody loves to tell a story and, and and I think that that is the new form of storytelling now. In terms of YouTube, the fact that something can go viral, it keeps everyone almost on their toes. The internet culture has turned things into like, if I cannot share it, did it happen? It's like, it's kind of like the tree in the forest. It used to be that I felt like it was the YouTubers or the people who were doing it for a living who were like, let me get this on, on camera, right? But now with Snapchat, and now that everybody kind of has their own personal little vlog, everybody just wants to document it for the likes. Everyone wants likes. Everybody wants their Snapchat stories to be lit. That's what the kids are saying nowadays, lit. So what's crazy is this is not the first time this has happened at a Target. <laughs> This is a thing? This has actually happened to multiple targets over time. That's off. That's so awful. There's what? clearly a serial target pornist <laughs> going around. So target will not say either way, but it seems to be that you can call target and get connected to a specific extension that puts you on the intercom. No! That's kind of awesome. That could lead to some really awesome pranks. Not that that should ever happen. I might go make a viral video after this. <laughs> Gosh, I used to work at Target. This is news to me. They didn't tell us employees all the deep, dark secrets of Target. If there is really a way to just call into a Target and type an extension and you can play over the loudspeaker, they should probably fix that. No way that's real. Dude, I would be doing that all the time. Finally, now that you've heard all about this prank, overall, do you think this went too far? I think it's fine. I think it's really gross, but... I enjoyed watching the video. It'd be a sad world to not have this. I think it's over the line, just because, especially it being pornography, like it puts you in a place where you can't control what you're being exposed to. You do cross the line just a little bit. People are very sensitive about this, especially how they raise their kids nowadays. Like, how do you erase that from your kids' brains? Probably inappropriate for Target. Um, appropriate for Walmart. Totally okay for Walmart. Thank you so much for watching another episode of YouTubers React. In the comments, let us know what video we should react to next. And you should subscribe to the rest of these awesome people. Boop 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 doop boop boop doop boop doop boop boop. Bye. Bye. Bye everybody. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs>